Hey guys, and welcome to Bacon Bits. Something look a little different? Well, your prescription hasn't changed, but we have. Pam is now broadcasting in HD. Make sure you dial in to channel 64.1 to get all those little pieces of ham just a little bit clear. Make sure you also check out facebook.com slash the ham channel, youtube.com slash the ham channel, and hamchannel.com for more updates. Thanks for tuning in. Twelve FUSA elections. We're going to take a quick look at Mark Evans and what he has to say about FUSA. So hi, my name is Mark no. Evans. I'm a currently a junior here at Fairfield. Mm. Uh, County and finance. No. Okay. A couple like, of things I love about the university. I've always loved all the okay. professors that I've had here and all the staff. Um, I think that they really stand out above a lot of other schools. I've never had really any problems with any of them. They've always been great to me. Whether or not you're going to vote for me or if you're going to write someone in, just come out and vote on February 28th. And then we'll have a post-election party at the levee where all the candidates will be there, me, Rob, anyone else who's trying to write in, all the senators at the levee. There's free food and we'll announce the winner. So no matter who you vote for, just come out and vote on February 28th. Right, Julie. We're back and we're sitting here with Mark Evans, uh, the nominee for VP of FUSA. Hello, Mark. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. So, uh, are you nervous? I am not <laughs> nervous, <laughs> yep. surprisingly. Oddly, the one time you can say you're not I nervous know. at election time. I thought I'd be nervous, not well, nervous. Not so much. For some reason. <laughs> I want to. So, let's get into it. Right. What is your platform? What do you want to see change in FUSA during your term? The main thing I want to see change is I want FUSA to become more representative of the students. Mm -hmm. um, I think sometimes we get carried away with doing like what we want to do as individual FUSA members and sometimes we kind of get away from representing the students which is basically our core. Mm -hmm. um, so I just really want to change that. I want to get to know a lot more of the students here um, just to be able to better help them out and get their voice involved. Nice. And now what things in FUSA have you seen that you've really responded to that you'd like to keep around? Um, I think, well, I've been on the programming board for the past few years, and mm -hmm. I, I mean, that's the thing I can speak the best about. So I've seen a huge development in the programming board, um, not just with, like, the people, but with, like, a lot of the other people in FUSA getting involved and things like that, um, developing new ideas. Um, I think Senate's been doing a great job this year, mm -hmm. which I saw was a huge improvement, so we're going to keep that going, too. Nice. Very cool. So has there been any noteworthy things that FUSA has done within this past year that have really stood out to you? Um, well, a couple of things we did was we did a What's the Fuss thing a couple weeks ago, mm -hmm. which I thought was a great idea. It was basically something for the students to come out and just complain about everything that they wanted to change. Um, so we got a lot of good ideas about that. And then just all, just all the programs we've been putting on, I think they've been great. Okay. Um, but the, what's the first thing really stood out to me? So do you plan on incorporating a lot of those ideas that you heard from the students into plans of action into FUSA things? Yeah, I mean, it's mostly a Senate thing. Okay. Um, mostly a Senate and executive initiative thing. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, even just a couple people showing up and just, you know, telling us what they want. I mean, they, everyone has something to complain about and something they want <laughs> to do. So, cool. yeah, definitely. So what exactly is the role of the VP within FUSA? Like, what do, you, what do you think is the most important thing that the VP has to do? I think the most important thing is the VP, the president's kind of like an external face um, and like an external representative of FUSA. I think an important thing for VP is like working within FUSA, um, getting involved in Senate, getting involved in programming, and then also being on, obviously on the exec board. Mm. Um, <laughs> so I think the most important thing I can do as VP is just to be, obviously a face to all the students not in FUSA, but more importantly to be a presence within it. Nice. Well, I asked this to Dan, I'm going to ask it to you too. If you had to say one final thing to the voters before they went into the booth, what would be your last pitch for FUSA? You mean for me? Or mm -hmm. for Just for you, for FUSA in general? For, um, I would tell them that if they have something that they want to see, um, they need to vote to do it, mm -hmm. and we're the people to do it. So come to us if you have anything. Nice. Well, thank you so much. I wish you the best of luck for your uncontested race. <laughs> I'm you sure you'll much. do great. <laughs> thank you. It's been awesome. Thank you so much great. for Thanks coming. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. And we will see you guys for the 2012 FUSA elections in a minute. The 2012 FUSA election special will be right back. Only on the Ham Channel. 
Rob. Hey guys, and welcome to Bacon Bits. I'm Julia Haltoff. Whether you're tweeting, checking Facebook, or surfing the web, we're everywhere. Status online all the time. Check us out on Facebook.com slash The Ham Channel, YouTube.com slash The Ham Channel, or TheHamChannel.com for continuous updates. Thanks for watching Bacon Bits, all the little pieces of ham that you need to know about. And we are back with the 2012 Fusil Elections where we're going to go live from the levee to see what's going on with Mabel. Mabel? Thanks, Julia. We're still up here at the levee, so after this quick break, we'll send it back to you in Studio A as you sit down with Rob Vogel and Mark Evans. Hello, uh, my name is Rob Vogel. I'm the current FUSA president. I'll have a, a morning meeting, uh, okay, just kind of go over <laughs> planning for the week, setting the agenda for okay. our exec meeting later in that day. Okay. And that meeting, we kind of all, all three branches of FUSA get together, Senate, programming, and COSO, and we all kind of figure out how we can better collaborate, how, uh, kind of just inform each other what we're all working on, things of that nature. On the off Wednesdays, I sit on the University Budget Committee meeting, so I'm also sitting, sitting on that and, and go and attend those, try and help uh, fix our budget deficit and really give a student input and a student voice to the different things that are going on. So I ran for class president as a freshman and it was weird because I was still in that kind of transition transition uh, stage and you know I wasn't I don't think I really campaigned hard enough or really understood what it all meant I was kind of just like oh like I was involved with it maybe I'll try and get involved with it again um, I ended up losing and honestly that was maybe one of the the better things that happened to me because it gave me the opportunity to really find myself and figure out what I wanted to get involved in um, on this campus and it gave me the opportunity to get involved in different clubs and orgs for FUSA specific, I uh, was the director of finance for COSO as a sophomore and in that role I was doing a lot of the allocations and budgeting for the like 80 or so clubs and student organizations that we have on campus and I think that was something that was a that was an experience that really helped to better educate me on all the different things that we have to offer because I'm looking at clubs, uh, something like the Muslim Student Association, or Students for Social Justice, or uh, LEAF, or any of these clubs, and I'm seeing directly what they're asking money for, um, looking at the programs that they're doing, looking at the initiatives that they're working on, and it really got me, I think, in touch with students better, and, you know, a lot of students that, you know, I might not have been going to a um, salsa event, but I was finding out about these things and I was seeing what these students were working on and it really got me better engaged, better connected to the university as a whole. Um, and then later on my sophomore year I was sitting on the um, Constitutional Convention Committee where we were rewriting the FUSA Constitution and that got me really engaged in the organization as a whole and helped me to make the decision to run for FUSA Vice President. Um, and as Vice President I was getting to work on a lot of different things like our uh, Fairfield Fridays initiative and a lot more of the internal things that were kind of going on in the organization. Uh, so team building, uh, training, all those elements of it. To access lines of communication for students to come and talk to us so that we can kind of take those feelings, take those sentiments, um, take those experiences and bring them to administration so that administration can hear um, all the different frameworks of things that are going on around campus.